In the spring of 2008, the Minnesota Department of Education, with financial support from the National Governors Association and the state legislature, awarded grants to Minnesota schools in a program called Systemic STEM School Redesign. Awards were made to 11 schools to develop and expand integrated science, technology, engineering, and mathematics school initiatives, abbreviated as STEM and to form a cohort of model STEM schools throughout the state. Developing models of integrated STEM education was a focus of this grant. Integrated STEM education approaches exemplify standards-based, best practice instruction from each area to explore relevant, real-world questions and problems. In particular, the grant focused on the integration of revised mathematics standards across STEM content areas, and increasing both the participation of students in STEM courses and the number of students that move into post-secondary education or training in STEM-related fields. In the winter of 2009, at the conclusion of the grant, Several participating teachers and administrators volunteered to share their story so that other schools could learn from their work. When we come in here with the math, kids get excited about it. They love coming to the STEM lab, and it's just in the name. We're going to the STEM lab today. Woohoo! When I first sat in on an elementary engineering unit, it was a third grade unit on aerospace engineering where the students were designing parachutes. And to see these little students express to their teacher and to one another, we're doing engineering. It was so exciting to be able to see these little students who didn't know a few weeks prior to them what engineering was, to not only have a better sense of what it was, but then to be excited by the label. I don't hear the, the famous math question, when are we ever going to use this? Because we talk every day about how I use this in my daily life when I'm doing working on my house or how you know different engineers have used the same concept. So the buy-in has been huge for students. We're doing things that we were never doing before. Um, we have um, learning activities that we, we might have done in isolation. And when one teacher is doing that, it's a lot of, it's an incredible workload. If you're doing the survival, winter survival curriculum all on your own and trying to get all of that information put together. But when you've got this team across many different disciplines working all together, someone's saying, oh, I can do that and I'll get that. And I think that that really helps, helps um, carry the workload. But we're also doing activities that we, we were not doing before. The backbone of our economic system, our products, that 3M, Honeywell, Medtronic, HP, Fuller, Cargill, General Mills in the Twin City areas. Products that they bring to the marketplace that people want to buy and make their lives better. Well, how do those products come into existence? They come into existence by these companies doing research and engineers taking them out of the laboratory into manufacturing and making products in a way that have the quality, the cost basis, and the, and the volume that can fill people's needs. And that process creates jobs. There are jobs created making these new products from new research and technologies. And it's engineers that are able to make that happen. The concept of STEM means that um, the real world isn't segregated into uh, one aspect or another. You can't just say, um, I'm going to just work in engineering or I'm just going to work in mathematics. Most jobs involved, uh, involve integrating you know, science, technology, and engineering, and mathematics all together, and you can't do one without the other. And so to me, STEM means taking all of those and just combining them, mushing it all together, and seeing what comes out of it. And that's, that's uh, the biggest thing. I think STEM really is an application of what kids are learning in math and science, applying it to technology and engineering principles, and just mixing everything together and allowing them to use what they know. Um, so often school is separate subjects, even when we have them write in math class, and their question is, well, are you going to grade it on grammar? Well, it has to be legible. I mean, yes, you have to, you have to write appropriately. So I think it's, a, it's just such a natural way that we can get get these kids to think in different areas and think outside the box a little bit. So it's, it's, it's using a lot more real life and real world experiences and applications of what they're learning in the classroom. And I think, you know, we've been teaching science and math forever. 
the technology and the engineering part of the of, of STEM is is a lot easier lost because mm -hmm. you know you don't have a, a courses designed necessarily for them and um, the natural fit to try to include them would be uh, would be here and so uh, that's that's what we're hoping to try to do. For me, STEM is an avenue that we can bring uh, our community into the education, um, bring everyday careers into the education, um, and enhance, like I said, this 21st century skill. Um, the technology that, to me, science in the last 15 years has just blown up because of technology. And to uh, continue teaching science without utilizing that technology would be a travesty to science. And um, this has been a way to bring some of the new cutting edge ideas uh, into our education. We were very careful in how we designed our program. Um, we didn't call it a STEM program. We wanted to call it an engineering program because our framework is that engineering is what actually can connect science and technology and mathematics. So we really are valuing the E in STEM as the thing that will tie those other areas together. Um, what we are, or we're afraid of is it becoming too theoretical, just being um, just without application, without projects, without students experiencing the creativity that is so important in the engineering process. So we really wanted to call it an engineering program so that we could integrate science and technology and math in all of those different forms into these projects that are engineering based. So we're hoping then the students will recognize that engineering will allow them to use their creativity to solve a problem that will either make a product or do something to make their lives better. STEM is, is really the future because I think number one that's where the jobs are going to be, that's where they, they are and where they're, they're going to be and we need to do a better job of uh, getting kids um, taking more science, more math, and really integrating everything as best as possible. That's sometimes a challenge when you've had a high school where math stays here and science stays here and tech ed is there. And, but I, we're trying to do it and I think we're doing a better job. We got started in the STEM project. Uh, a few years ago we were brainstorming, our seventh and eighth grade teachers were talking about how can we make our curriculum more connected. Our seventh and eighth graders went from one class to the next um, and due to our small size it was hard to find common planning time and ways to connect ourselves. And we started talking about wanting to create an academy that was focused on um, developing um, interpersonal skills, working together, um, and then about that time the STEM grant came along and we thought hey, this could fit in really well with what we're trying to do. We really think a great time to work at, 